Neil was driving his Model 3 down a highway with full self-driving enabled. Traffic was building up and the Tesla was slowing down to maintain a three car length follow distance. All of a sudden, he felt the car applying the brakes on its own and heard a loud beeping before the car suddenly lurched forward. The driver of a Toyota had rear-ended him at full speed. The collision investigation estimated the Toyota's speed was approximately 65 miles per hour at the moment of impact. The Tesla was hit so hard it was shoved forward into the guardrail. No airbags deployed since the impact came from the rear. Neil told us the driver's seat fell back, preventing him from launching forward into the steering wheel. His daughter was in the front passenger seat and she escaped with nothing more than some minor scratches. The Toyota driver was in shock, but thankfully she was uninjured. Sadly, she was also uninsured. Neil filed an insurance claim with his own insurance provider and he was immediately notified that he was determined not to be at fault after they'd reviewed his Tesla cam video. The Tesla had to be towed to a collision center so it could be evaluated to see if it's totaled. Neil is absolutely sure the Tesla's safety features are the reason why he and his daughter walked away without any serious injuries. If the car is determined to be totaled, he'll be replacing it with another Tesla. Neil wanted to say thanks to the off-duty police officer who stopped and helped them and to the officer's son, an EMT, who also came by to see if they were injured. Tyler had left his Tesla Model 3 in a parking garage while he was at a baseball game. Sentry mode was activated when a man who'd parked next to him returned to his vehicle, opened the door, sat down in his car, then forcefully kicked his door into Tyler's Model 3. Tyler immediately filed a police report with the Reno Police Department. They're currently determining if they will press charges against the individual, and in the meantime, they gave Tyler the offender's insurance information. Tyler has filed a claim with his insurance provider, and he's currently waiting for them to contact him. Leo had just gotten his Model Y and told us it's the first new car he's ever had and he worked a lot of overtime to be able to afford it. Watch what happened while he was on duty as a firefighter. He was parked in the lot in front of his fire station when a car pulled up and two guys jumped out armed with a rock. They threw the rock at the Tesla's window. Thanks to the double pane glass, it didn't break. The rock just bounced off the car, but the alarm was triggered, sending the two guys running home to their mommies. Leo's window now has two two-inch long cracks in it, so he's filed a police report. Replacing the window will cost 300 US dollars. John was headed to Chinatown for lunch and was waiting at a traffic light in the left turn lane. When the light turned green, he proceeded to turn. John told us he started to sense there was a car on his right, which didn't seem right since he was in the only turn lane. Regardless, he was being especially careful to stay in his lane when, all of a sudden, a Model X zoomed past him and cut off the car in front of him too. John told us he had to watch his Tesla cam video to figure out where the Model X had even come from. Sadly, it gets worse. The Model X driver had grown impatient with the SUV in front of him and changed lanes in order to cut ahead of them and make his illegal left turn, crossing two lanes of traffic. Maybe he really needed to go to the bathroom. JR's Model 3 has an intermittent issue where the windows open slightly on their own for no reason. One day, this happened while it was parked and it was raining outside. A random guy walking by noticed this and decided to be awesome. He tried to tape plastic over the window opening to stop rain from pouring in. JR told us it was really nice to see someone watching out for Teslas instead of damaging them. This happened at the VA hospital in Lyons, New Jersey. If anyone knows who helped him out, he'd really like to thank him. Hunter was driving his Model Y in Austin, Texas when he approached an intersection. Another driver was waiting, but they didn't look both ways before pulling out. Hunter slammed on the brakes and made an impressive evasive maneuver, avoiding a collision. Hunter heard the tires screech and felt his adrenaline pumping, and he told us he was tempted to follow the driver and confront him, but he decided to take a deep breath. He let it go and sent his footage to Wham Bam instead. Wise choice, Hunter. Spencer was sitting at a traffic light when an oncoming forerunner ran the red light and got T-boned by a Supra off camera. Then the forerunner rolled backward off of a retaining wall.
Spencer ran over to the forerunner and thankfully, the woman driving it was unharmed. An officer arrived to make a police report at the scene and filmed the Tesla cam footage to retain as evidence for the report. This submitter was passing a semi-truck and noticed its front left tire was almost completely flat. He tried to warn the truck driver with a honk, but he just flipped our submitter off, probably assuming he was road raging. Our submitter accelerated to get away from the semi in case anything happened. Seconds later, the tire erupted in a huge explosion. Our submitter sent his Tesla cam footage to the police and was later informed that flying debris from the explosion had damaged the cars beside the truck at the time. Dr. M was driving down a highway in France when the driver of a white car ahead of him kept weaving in and out of his lane. Suddenly, he plowed straight into the back of a semi-truck. It doesn't look like he even tried to hit the brakes. The semi-truck pulled over and so did a ton of cars behind Dr. M, so he decided to keep moving. Henry had just exited a parking lot in Mountain View when a Honda driver came speeding down the road. The Honda driver tried to overtake Henry on the narrow road with a 25 mile per hour speed limit. Instead, she damaged his quarter panel, rear bumper cover, and rim. She also hit a Mercedes on the other side of the street. Honda bump. The Honda driver didn't speak English, so they communicated via Google Translate, and that's how Henry found out she didn't have a driver's license. 15 minutes later, the police arrived and watched his Tesla cam video. The officer said, normally we let the insurance companies deal with the liability decision, but after watching the clip, I now have to give her a citation. Henry got a repair estimate of 2,000 US dollars, and the shop is currently waiting for replacement parts to arrive from Tesla. Kyle was driving down a highway in Hilliard, Ohio when he pulled up next to an old convertible. We honestly have no idea what kind of car this is. Does anyone know? Just as Kyle passed the gentleman driving the unidentified convertible, his rear tire exploded, and he spun 270 degrees before backing off the highway into the grass median. Kyle contacted the police and offered them his Tesla cam footage, but they never called him back. Rob was driving his Model Y in York, England when he stopped for a red light before getting rear-ended by a Mazda. The police arrived at the scene of the accident. While the Mazda was totaled and had to be towed away, the Tesla had only minor cosmetic damage and the police told Rob he could continue driving it. The Mazda driver's insurance paid for repairs, which totaled 2,800 pounds, over 3,400 US dollars. Even though Rob wasn't at fault, his own car insurance premium jumped by 30% after being the unfortunate victim in this collision. Rob's bad luck didn't end there. Just a few weeks after he'd picked up his repaired Tesla, he was rear-ended again. Once again, his insurance provider increased his premium by another 30%. His premiums are now 60% higher because of two collisions he didn't even cause. It sounds to me like he should change insurance providers. Sprink delivers DoorDash orders in his Model S. While he was en route to drop off an order, he got caught up in some serious road rage. It all started when the driver of a white Honda cut off a black BMW, infuriating the BMW driver. When they stopped at the next red light, the driver of the BMW jumped out and started waving his hands in the air like he just didn't care. <laughs> Seriously, who writes these scripts? But seriously, he was screaming and making all sorts of crazy gestures, which he continued even after the light turned green and he was holding up traffic. Sprink gave him a few honks since he was blocking traffic and that's when things took a major turn. No, literally, the BMW driver jumped back in his car and took the left turn. Rather than back off and keep his distance, Sprink passed him and that's when the BMW driver started chasing after him. The thing is, Sprink wasn't racing him and hadn't even passed him intentionally. He had the full self-driving beta turned on. Just as the BMW caught up to him, FSD slowed down to turn into the neighborhood where Sprink's DoorDash customer lived. Evidently, this only offended the BMW driver even more. 
Sprink says he must have thought Sprink was brake checking him when actually FSD had slowed down to turn and it even activated the appropriate turn signal. The BMW driver kept following him for a few blocks, so Sprink called 911 and prepared for the worst. We can just imagine how eager the BMW driver was to wave his hands in the air like he just didn't care. Really, again? Sprink entered a cul-de-sac to drop off his delivery, and that's when the BMW driver saw his opportunity to block him in and got out of his car to road rage. Sprint calmly told the BMW driver to back off and that he was already on the phone with 911. Just like that, he threw his hands in the air before he started walking toward the Tesla. Even though the BMW driver had tried to block him in, Sprink was able to turn his Tesla around and safely drive past the BMW. One of the local residents was working out in his yard, and he also got a dose of the angry BMW driver's crazy gestures. Sprink gave the 911 operator the BMW's license plate number, then pulled over and waited as the BMW driver drove off. Remember kids, never skip arm day. <sighs> I need a vacation. Michael was driving his Model Y in Tampa, Florida when a gray, hmm, I guess we have another unidentified convertible on our hands. The driver of an unidentified gray convertible changed lanes at the same time as another vehicle and lost control, spinning out into the median where it took out a traffic sign before coming to a stop. And on that bombshell, please check out our Patreon. Your support really helps us out. See you next week.